So here is my CPU. Can't focus on it anymore. Okay, so we're taking out from its old case. Um, it's the this uh, motherboard is the MSI seven eighty seven. Um, beautiful looking uh, motherboard here. One of the best ones I've seen. Um, compared to the uh, to the Rampage the Asus motherboards. There's the I.O. plate and there's a Wi-Fi right there, so Wi-Fi card built in. Um, I have four of my uh, uh, five out of f f five out of four filled with my SSD. Looks cheap, it's a Toshiba. Anyway. And there is my uh, uh, GTX 660, so I'm all moving in here. Sort of like a transplant. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to put it on a time lapse. I want to record everything, but I don't want to be moving the camera, so I'm going to put it on a time lapse. Back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my my um, storage, my data, data skipping one here, so these better airflow. And on here, I want the skip one, but I forgot I can't. Uh, that's because of my SSD. Um, so I'm gonna keep it on top. So. Put it on top. And here's the baby that's been crying. There's my baby. Say hi, Chance. Say hi, Chance. Babe, stop. Say hi. Hi. He sees himself. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update on what it looks like now. So we've taken it from the old case, uh, the Coolmaster Half 922, and transferred it here. It looks much better. I put on the thermal paste um, on there. Nice even coat, no bubbles. Try not to get any bubbles. Um, bubbles are bad because bubbles can. If there's no thermal paste on there, you can overheat that one spot and it'll grow. Um, so smooth it out as much as possible. So I installed the, uh, um, the Corsair H100i. I wanted to do a, 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 a pull um, can, um, instead of a push. This is push configuration. So it's pushing the air here to the radiator and out. I want to do a pull, so have the fans on the other side pulling the air out. So the air that's in here is going through the fans and cooling it down. But can't I, I couldn't figure it out because there's these rubber um, rubber things on here that prevented me from from connecting the fan. Because it was too short, it began too short, so this needed to be connected. These things prevented from connecting to the fan. So, well, anyway, so this is the. This is how it is so far. And I'm gonna fix all the cables. It's ugly right now, but so far, so good. Peace. The, the 
Empress and Revengeance. Say twenty one hundred megahertz, six two eight gigs. Put that in. Put that in. So they'll be controlled uh, by the Corsair link. So I'm out there. Okay, so I'm just going to push them through there. Same with this fan. Okay, I'll we'll be powered through the same way. Okay, so we're going to be moved there. Installed um, cooling unit up here. There we go. Okay, so Okay, so hopefully this will post. Um, everything is um, connected. Connected on here. So we got the H100i exhaust fan right there. Uh, my uh, memory is in. Video card power for the CPU sir. Okay, we're just gonna get down here. Okay, oh my hard drive circuit. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's post it. Let's see if it posts. Okay, we'll see if it'll post. There we go. So good. All the fans are going. I'm going to take a reboot. I don't know why I did that.
Hello folks, um, as you can see, um, this is the final, um, the final home, just turned off the monitor, uh, for my new build, okay, turn on the light, hard to see, so this is the Corsair 650D, okay, uh, so it looks all nice in there. Um, I got the Corsair logo lit up to yellow to match the um, the yellow on the motherboard. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the audio boost. You see that 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 light that's coming out is um, is actually embedded in the motherboard. See, you can see it much better now. Um, so again, it's nice. Um, I have all the fans running at the maximum speed because I'm doing some uh, photo, photo editing as well as some video uh, video editing as well. So everything looks good so far. It's been about I would say about a month, and I got uh, my new headset. Let me turn off the light. I don't really want to my new headset, I got rid of the uh, Razer uh, Banshee. So this is the Logitech G430. Uh, watch out for a review on this. So far so good, no complaints on the microphone. Um, what I like about it is that it is analog, so the 3.5mm jacks connect there. And it comes with a connector for digital so if you you don't have a video uh, if you don't have a sound card you can plug this into USB and you can plug into those the microphone microphone and headphone jack so you get sound without a video card, a sound card okay on here uh, again I deal with lots of photos so I do video editing and well I'm starting to do video editing and, and um, and my photography business, but anyway, this uh, is my uh, HP uh, 2711X uh, monitor. It's a 27 inch monitor, and I love this. I calibrated this um, with my spider, so I need to look for that and need to calibrate this because this one is a newer monitor. This is an Asus. Uh, uh, VG278 um, HE this is a um, uh, 3D monitor um, but I'm not going to use it for that I, I only purchased it because of its great I wanted the 27 to match this because uh, I had the Logitech 24 inch monitor uh, which was not um, matching I mean when I was like when I'm go painting left and right, it just it just was off, coloring is off. So I need to calibrate this uh, for my photography. Uh, but anyway, I purchased this um, m uh, monitor because it has 144 hertz refresh rate uh, to um, millisecond gray to gray 3D. If we ever go 3D, but I doubt it. Um, I mean, it, it, it looks so beautiful compared to the 60 hertz monitor here. Um, but anyway, so this is where my uh, new setup is. There is the Corsair um, K60 and the Steel Series Sensei um, Pro Gaming Laser Mouse with an LED. You can personalize it. The beauty of this mouse is um, it's light, first of all. Um, it looks like it's it's metal, but it's it's light. Um, there's seven buttons on it, um, and you can store information within the mouse itself. So if you're gaming, uh, we're going to LAN party. Um, you know, you can just bring your game, I mean your mouse, and all your settings are in there, so that's the beauty of that. Uh, anyway, more on that, um, but, um, once I clean up the office, 
I will uh, give you guys a tour on what, what I have in the Fisheye Studios uh, uh, office. So for now, goodbye. Hi there. Um, I also wanted to include um, my server since you know I deal with a lot of photos. Um, you know, thousands upon thousands of photos. So I wanted to include uh, my server, which is located in my son's um, nursery, because um, this used to be our office. Um, so this is a little tour of his nursery. Uh, this is a little playpen down here. Tummy time and whatnot this crib so far he's not sleeping there because he's only two months and it's changing table all this good stuff so here is uh, my server my <laughs> mini server so we have a Netgear N600 uh, 2.4 hertz uh, gigahertz um, and also it it, it, it also uh, um, projects at 5 gigahertz uh, so um, that means you, you can, um, if your, um, wireless receiver, whatever you have, phone, tablet, computer, um, if it can, you know, receive to five, five gigahertz, and, and that means that it can, the signal couldn't go much farther. Um, so we have my server right here. It's a Seagate Black Armor, uh, network attached server 440, NAS. 440 which is um, it can hold about 12 terabytes uh, so that means um, about three terabytes per um, per enclosure because there's four so currently I have uh, two in there so there's two four six eight I have eight <coughs> uh, terabytes um, in there, and I also have this. Uh, be, I believe this is a Western Digital. There it is on top. This is a Western Digital external hard drive, which is attached to this, so it adds another one gig. Uh, I mean, one terabyte of um, this space. Um, and so we have Comcast. So we have this Motorola Surfboard 6 uh, SB6121, pretty fast, and we have Vonage right over there so um, that's why I needed a motherboard um, that is capable or has onboard wireless because again I'm very far away not far away it's just next door um, and that's why I needed a wireless motherboard I mean I can get a, a, a NIC card but that's you know I mean that would be not an extra expense, but you know, if, since they've been they're building it now, uh, inclusive of the motherboard, then you know why not purchase it with it? Okay, thanks again.